Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Wednesday, May the 6th. So today you're going to have to click on a couple of videos because again, Screencastify is not letting me toggle in between two things. So your morning announcements you can watch right after this with Mrs. Rabita and say the pledge and the Gates Mills um, pledge too. All right, a couple of shout outs for today. Um, I'm not shouting out about your work necessarily. I'm shouting out about um, how you did on the J challenge. I want to congratulate um, Colton and Jacob and um, Zach because all three of them were able to do 61 jumping jacks in one minute. That's pretty impressive, boys. I can't believe it. I don't think I could do 10. I'd be too tired. Anyways, we'll have more shout outs as the week goes on. We are going to shorten up the, um, the morning meeting a little bit today. Uh, you'll notice that I'm not asking you what day of the week it is or what month of the year it is, because I think we know that by now. So we'll do that every couple of days, but not every day. Um, we are not going to practice telling time today um, because you're going to be working on word problems uh, with Mrs. Slater today. But I do want to say you've done a fantastic job of telling time <clears throat> to the hour and half hour. Um, those are the only things that in first grade we need to work on. But if you want to learn to tell time to the minute or to the five minutes, we can certainly do some of that too. So let me know if you're interested in that because I could push out some of those activities and seesaw to you, okay? But if not, that's what you'll learn in second grade. All right, how many days have we been in school? Well, yesterday was 143, right? Is that correct? I have to double check, hang on. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yesterday was 144. So today is 145 days. So let's go ahead. We've got 110, 20, 30, 43. That's why I got messed up. I don't have one of these moved over. 144. And today is 145. Okay. 145 days. We're getting there. All right. Um, today with Mrs. Slater, you're going to be working on word problems. So I have two word problems for you to do today. And you can pause this um, and finish them now or come back to it later. Here's your first question. Miss Stevenson has four dogs. She wants to adopt 10 more. How many dogs will Miss Stevenson have all together? Okay. Actually, I should put that word all together in there. Let me type that in there right now. There we go. And question number two, Mrs. Hancock has six computers. <clears throat> she plans on buying eight more computers. How many computers will Mrs. Hancock have in all? So those are your two problems for today. Pause it if you need to. All right, let's move on to our secret number. Yesterday's secret number was 49. Uh, most of you turned that into me. You did fantastic, good job. Today's secret number is an even number. It is between 70 and 90. And I have a very unique clue for you. The number in the ones place is half as much as the number in the tens place. So it's an even number. It's between 70 and 90. The number in the ones place is half as much as the number in the tens place. If you add the two numbers together, you get 12. What's my secret number? Okay. That brings us to our fried words. Remember, you're going to be tested on these on Friday, so you want to be practicing. Here we go. I say, you say hard, along, something, both. Few, got, life, left, seam, <clears throat> paper, those, clothes, saw, together, open, while, begin, Group, next, always, run, might, don't, often, and blank. Good job. 
All right, remember we're gonna test those on Friday. And that brings us to our read aloud. We are on chapter 23 of Lulu Walks the Dogs. So let's see what she does with Fleshman now. She hasn't been very nice to him. All right, <clears throat> from that day on, Lulu and Fleshman were more than boss and assistant and more than teammates. They were in fact partners with Lulu offering Fleshman and making him take exactly half of the money she earned walking dogs and promising to teach him for only $10 how to not be scared of caterpillars and worms, plus whispering in a voice he could hardly hear, but at least she said it, that although she had no wish to be the nicest girl in the world, boring, too boring, she would try her very best to be nicer to him. Look how happy he looks. Somewhere deep in his forest, Mr. B is slowly nodding his head and smiling. That's a character from another Lulu book, I guess. Fleshman, in return, promised that he'd give away the shirt that says, I'm here to bring some happiness into your life. Teach her for only $10 to understand dogs. Try his very best to stop saying how honored and thrilled and delighted and smart he was and work on smiling a less annoying smile. Did Lulu stop hating Fleshman? Yes, she did. Did Lulu stop being rude to him? Yes, she did. Was Lulu now willing to talk with him while they walked the dogs together on weekday mornings? Yes, she was. And so did Fleshman and Lulu finally turn into new best friends? No, they did not. You want a happy ending? Read Cinderella. Ha, huh, Cinderella. Didn't you read that yesterday? Isn't that funny? I didn't even know that was going to be in there. This story has only sort of a happy ending because Fleshman is still too annoying for Lulu to love. And Lulu is still too fierce for Fleshman to love. They respect each other. They count on each other. They're partners and dog walking buddies. If one of them got tied up, the other one would help. But unless they turn into totally different people, I'm pretty sure they won't be new best friends. Still, the last time I saw them together, they were walking Brutus and Pookie and Cordelia. Lulu was trying to kick some dirt on Fleshman's perfect sneakers. Fleshman was shaking a carrot in Lulu's face. And as they got near the end of the street, I could hear them loudly singing this money song. Larry, Liam, Lester, Lou, all this money for us too. Kathy, Carly, Chloe, Claire, all this money we can share. Money, 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 money. There they are walking down the street. And that brings us to the next chapter. So we're going to stop there. We'll pick it back up tomorrow. Okay. All right. As I mentioned earlier, our ABC countdown is today K Day, which is Kindness Day. So there's a couple of things I want you to do. Um, it says here, do a random act of kindness today. Some ideas are be helpful at home, call a friend, write a note to someone. Um, you'll also find that our read aloud today is Mrs. Sanders, uh, Colton's mom, is reading us the bucket filler book. Now, I know some of you may have heard that last year in kindergarten, but it's always good to hear it again because being a bucket filler is really important. You don't want to be a bucket dipper. You want to fill people's buckets with happiness every day. And because you're home and you're with your family, I'd like to know how are you being a bucket filler at home? So there's a seesaw activity today that I would like for you to fill out um, and complete it asks you to take a picture of yourself smiling and then tell me some things that you've been doing um, as a bucket filler in your own household. OK, and um, if you do a random act of kindness, let me know about that, too. OK. All right. That brings us to the end of our morning meeting. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I will see you again tomorrow. Oh, actually, no, I'll see you again later on today. We have Zoom meetings today for those of you who have signed up. We have Zoom meetings at uh, your regular scheduled time and then this afternoon at five o'clock, not four, I had to reschedule. At five o'clock, we are going to have a Zoom meeting where we're all going to clap out for the fifth graders. It won't take long, so if, if it's time for you to eat dinner or something like that, I only really need about maybe four minutes of your time, but then we can stay on and talk with each other just for fun if you want, okay? All right, so remember, Zoom meeting, five o'clock. Be there. Bye, boys and girls. <laughs>